Hello everyone, Obi Vandam here and welcome to Let's Try Evolution Climate, the board game um, adaptation, PC adaptation for the board game Evolution, which just recently, a couple of weeks back, received its um, DLC Climate, um, which adds a lot of stuff to the game. Don't worry if you don't know Evolution the board game just yet, I'm going to explain most of the stuff uh, we are going to do uh, while playing against the AI. Um, so um, we are going to play against, yeah, I think we can play against medium AI. I'm not sure if I win because I'm fairly new to the game as well. We will activate climate, of course, and then we are going to start. That's it. So what's this game about? We are playing as a species or potentially even multiple of those um, represented by this little dude over here um, and we are at this watering hole over here and what we need to do is survive so which means we need to eat food and compete against all the other species for the limited amount of food that will be available in the center in this watering hole and the first thing we are going to do is we will select one of our hand cards, we'll have five of those in the beginning, that we are going to put into the pool, um, which will add the specified amount of food to the watering hole. In this case, that's two food. Um, also, because we are playing climate, this, uh, this card will also contribute cold or warm uh, points towards the climate change. So... Um, after everyone distributed or um, put a card in the center, we will then turn them over, count the amount of food we have, and then also count the amount of um, snow flake icons and sun icons and whatever is more, the climate, which you can see on this axis over here, will shift in the respective direction, which will have effects on the food that will be available in the watering hole. Uh, we will come to those axes um, later if, well, if you reach one of these things. Um, also, we will not be able to use the card that we are discarding. So we need to make sure that we keep the cards that we want to use. And unfortunately, I have three carnivore cards. Um, let's see, we will discard... I don't know, we will discard this one. Okay. So now we have to play our cards. And what we can do with the four cards that we have in hand, we can either give our existing species one of these traits. So we can give it the mud wallowing, climbing, or carnivore trait. Or we can use the cards to increase the population of this specific species. Or we can increase the body size of our species. Or we can create a new species over here. And um, after we're done with that, as I mentioned, the cards will be turned around and then everyone gets its chance to eat. And at the end of the round, if you had not a chance to eat, the population will starve. And you're going to see this uh, potentially in this round even. I don't know. We contributed five food to the pool. We have three, five, six. We have seven species already. And climate might potentially shift towards cold, which will remove four food from the pool. Um, so what we could do, um, we have several species over here with a body size of just one. So what we might be able to do is the following. We are going to create a carnivore like this. So now our species will not be able to feed from the plant food that's in the middle, but we have to attack other species to eat. And we can only attack species that are smaller than ourselves. So what we have to do is increase the body size of our species to at least two. Um, and now let's see what we can also do is um, we could give this species the trait climbing, which would be nice and also increase population by one. So now the species, our species can climb. It has, uh, we, we have two of those. It's a carnivore and it has a body size of two. Oh, we have two carnivores over here. All right. So now you can see we have nine food in the center. Climate shifts towards cool. So now four will be removed, which means there's now only five food left 
in the watering hole. Which doesn't matter for us, because we are a carnivore and we can just eat other species. Um, which is great. So we are going to eat this guy over here. Now we have one food left. He's going to eat him. We will eat this guy. All right. And now we can keep the amount of food that we ate in our tiny bag over here. And this bag later is going to be um, what scores us points. So let's see, what are we going to do next? Um, we don't need to contribute any food to the pool because we are carnivore and we want to eat other species. Um, we also have the trait climbing just as this guy over here. So we can also try to eat him. That would also be a good idea. So let's contribute warning call. Um, this will change climate to cold by three points and add no food to the pool. And then we are just going to try and make our, our dude bigger. Um, for example, we could uh, prevent population loss due to cold. Um, let's bring this up again. So you can see over here, um, if this shifts to cool once more, we will reach the cold state. And what this, what this means there is that we will lose minus eight plant food from the pool and also all species that only have a body size of one or two will lose one population because it's just too cold and um, bigger species can handle the cold better so um, we should try just in case to increase the body size of our um, of our species to at least three or we could add heavy fur which will prevent four population losses due to cold and uh, you can see over here on Ice Age, we are going to lose four population of size one to six, which is the maximum size. So everyone will lose four population. Um, but if we have heavy fur, we are going to lose none. Um, so we are not yet there yet. So I'm not sure if heavy fur is actually an option. But um, I think I will make this one a little bit bigger. Um, just in case. Not sure what this species is going to be. And now we cannot create a new species because we will not be able to sustain it. Um, it will only have a size of one. If we add all the remaining cards to body size, we will have a herbivore size three. But I'm not sure if we will have any food in the pool. So let's actually add fat tissue which means we can now store extra food up to our body size. So instead of two food, we can now eat five, um, which is great. And then, well, let's actually just go ahead and make sure we are big enough to eat anything. And then let's see what the others are doing. We might even be able um, to eat this carnivore over here. Oh wow, 14 food, but it will go, it will get colder. So eight will be removed, which leaves seven. And then all the tiny species will die. Let's see if that affects anyone. Yeah, both of those. So this species lost one, this one lost one. Okay, and now we can eat everyone. We should start with this guy because he has the borrowing trait, which means once everyone has fat, um, he will hide in his, in his lair and then we cannot reach him. So let's make sure to eat this guy first. Uh, we will get food equal to the body size, which is three. Um, and now we have four left because of our fat tissue. So we are going to actually feed on another carnivore. Nice. Okay, so now what you can see, we have now have five um, food stored in our body fat. Um, and this will stay there. Um, let's go with scavenger. So this will stay there, which means um, now at the beginning of the feeding round, the fat will be transferred to food. So we are definitely not going to starve, um, which is pretty good migratory. 
Um, now this is just for plant species. Nothing of this makes sense for us at the moment. Um, climate is most likely going to be even colder and then we will have a cold snap. Oh, that's bad. Um, so we should, maybe that was a bad idea. We should have made sure it would get warmer. Um, as soon as we reach freezing, this event will trigger, which means 25 food will be removed from the pool and five population of size one to six is going to, are going to die, which means we might very well have a reset because everyone is dead. Um, this will prevent one population loss due to heat and cold. Um, so we will just lose four population. Actually, what we can do is we can add one of these and then do all the remaining to population size. So now we will just lose four and then this species will stay intact. Um, and if it gets warmer, everyone is already fat because of our um, fat tissue. So we will definitely survive the next round. And I don't think anyone can eat us. So, okay, well, now this guy can. But we have five population, so that's fine. See, now the, all the fat is transferred here, which is great. Yeah, and it will get colder, so. Um, nice. This will go to freezing. Now 16 will be removed. Oh no, it's 25. It will just count the cold snap. Okay, so this is overwritten by that one. 25 food is gone. Five population will die. Um, we have... Yeah. One was saved, which is great. Um, and we also received the food for that, for that round. Okay, so we survived the cold snap. But now we definitely should make sure it gets warmer. So let's do this. Okay, we now got a new event. Uh, let's see. We are now at freezing. So if it gets warmer, it will get cold, that's fine. Um, if we hit ice age, well, then we are in trouble again. Um, prevent one loss from heat or cold. So if it gets warmer, which I think it will, um, this trait will save our species, even though it stays small. Um, the problem is we are last and no, there are no other carnivores. So what we can do is, um, I don't want to increase population just yet. Um, we have a lot of fat tissue that we can eat into if we have the chance to eat more multiple species um, But I don't want to lose anyone if we are not able to eat that much So let's actually add a new species uh, it will get the borrowing trait and then um, Foraging and increase population Yeah, um, the problem is, oh no, this makes no sense because we will eat last. So having the population of three, um, let's do that. It's increase in size. Yeah, it gets warmer and we have lots of food. That was expected. Uh, because all the other players don't want to die again with all their newly created species. Which also means we have lots of prey for our carnivore. Yep, no one is going to die. This one is protected. So now they can start to eat. Let's see. Um, the problem is... Oh no, that's bad. Everyone is protected by something, so we are not able to eat. Which means we have to eat our own species, which is bad. Oh no, we cannot eat our own species. Oh, I'm so stupid. Um, because of the borrowing trade, it got, it was now hidden. 
Oh, damn it. I'm so stupid. Okay, so that was bad. Um, let's add anything that adds lots of food. We need we need food. We need lots of food. Um, okay, let's see. Do we want to go... Oh, they are all protected by horns, by herding, frills. Um... Okay, I don't think we need the heavy fur yet. Um, since there are no other carnivores, and I don't expect there to that there will be someone popping up, um, we can just maybe create more species. So this one will now have a body size of seven on defense because of hardened shell. So this one cannot be eaten by a regular carnivore. That's fine. Um, let's stick with fat tissue, increase the population a little bit, and then create a new one. Um, hibernation, horns. Yeah, we can give it all the defensive traits and then get some population. The problem is we need population to eat. Um, if we cannot eat, we cannot score points. Okay, so there are no carnivores. And we have a ton of food. Okay, so now the, the game is, is shifting a little bit. It used to be um, very low food and cold, and now it's tons of food. And um, pretty decent temperature. So now it's better to have more population. So you can see this guy is now able to feed 10 food or to get 10 food in total. Um, the foraging trade will allow him to always grab two food at the same time. Okay, we will be able to sustain all our species. Um, but if the game continues that way, we, would, we will need to find a way um, to just grab more food. Oh, that's pretty nice. Um, let's add the fat tissue. I want to have, make sure there's still enough food left. Um, okay, I doubt that this one is carnivore trait. Um, we could use intelligence. Intelligence will allow us to um, find two food by discarding a, a card. Um, no, but I think... We already have horns. This one is defended as well. Yeah, we will not be able to gather that much food using just regular grabbing of stuff. Um, so I think what we are going to do is we will add another species defended by horns. Um, and then we could give one of these species intelligence and keep that for discarding. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do this. Um, since this guy is also keeping one one card, this might very well also be intelligence. Um, based on the body size, I don't expect any carnivores. Yeah, this one has body size six because of fat tissue. He wants to make good use of that. <laughs> and it gets colder and we only have four food. Okay, so pretty much everyone is going to starve. Um... We will lose this one of these species over here because of the size. We will lose one over here. Oh no, we, this one was prevented because of hibernation. Okay, so now there is no food left. Uh, we can discard this. Yeah, see, that's what I meant. Wow. He died out completely. He was saved by fat tissue, but now that's over. There's no stored food left. Um, okay, so what are we going to add? 
we can get our food for this species ourselves. So maybe we could try to make it even colder. Make it even colder. Um, yeah, we have hibernation over here. We can do that. Uh, let's use symbiosis to make it even cooler. Um, so we should now have two population losses. Um, yeah, it just prevents one population loss. And borrow borrowing does as well. So I think um, we will do this. We will override fat tissue. There's never going to be enough food. We will keep one card in hand to trigger intelligence. So now we just need to make sure that this guy can feed. Um, he will not die if he can't because of hibernation, but I would like to get some food in. Um, let's add cooperation to this. We also need to make sure that this one is not going to die out. Let's do this. Oh no, I for oh, I'm so stupid again. I forgot to keep a card for intelligence. I'm not sure why I don't pay attention to that. So that's a pretty good example on how not to play the game. And um, by the way, if you want to check it out, there's of course a link in the description below. Oh nice, and now we also have a carnivore. Of size attack size eight. And it gets colder. Okay, that's that's really, really bad. There's no food in here. Climate shifts to ice age. Okay, so we survived the cold. Yeah. This one died out. So we got no food, but we still have our species. Uh, I'm just not sure how we can get food. Okay, now the game is over again. So now we will count um, the amount of food we got, the amount of trade points we have, the amount of species we have, and then add that all up. Oh, and we won! This was a very low food game. Um, and yeah, that's one of the funniest things I have ever seen. If you, um, if you create a species with three different um, traits, some of them will unlock a new species that um, here, um, Kate, File, Shifter, um, Drew, and they are all amazing. You can unlock them. I'm not sure if you can, you, you can Google what you need to do to unlock them, but this one is great. This is our carnivore with climbing that has a fat tissue. So this is going to look like this, and he, he's, he's grabbing um, birds with his tail. That's amazing. And they are all great, uh, all these illustrations. Okay, so um, even though it was not the most spectacular round, and I'm not sure if I played that well, we won. We also unlocked a new species. Um, let me know what you think about the game, if you want to see more on that channel. Also, as I mentioned, you can grab it by following the link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.